Some of the graphs below can represent the journey of a single person or a vehicle. On the other hand, some of them cannot possibly be correct. For the graphs that are possible, we will think of them as a person walking. Number one, identify the graphs that represent impossible scenarios. Two, circle the portion or portions of these graphs that make the situation described impossible. And finally, three, for each of the graphs that were identified, write a sentence to explain what makes the graph impossible for the situation. For all the graphs, we have time in seconds along the horizontal axis and distance in feet along the vertical axis. Looking at the first graph, notice how from zero to six seconds, the distance is increasing at a constant rate, which means the person is walking away from a location of reference. Then from six seconds to 12 seconds, the distance decreases at a constant rate, which means the person is walking back toward the location of reference. After 12 seconds, notice how the distance is zero feet, which means after 12 seconds, the person is back to the location of reference. Looking at the second graph though, notice how at zero seconds, there are two points on the graph, one here where the distance is zero feet, and one here where the distance is 80 feet. And we know it's not possible to be in two places at one time, or to be two distances away from a location of reference, and therefore this graph is impossible. Again, if we take a look at this graph at let's say three seconds, notice how there's a point here where the distance is 20 feet, there's a point here where the distance is 60 feet. Again, it's not possible to be in two locations at the same time, or to be 20 feet and 60 feet away from a location of reference at the same time. We could say this piece of the graph is what makes the graph impossible. Notice how if this piece remains, the distance is increasing at a constant rate from zero to six seconds, which means the person is walking away from a location of reference. However, we could also say this piece of the graph makes the graph impossible. If this piece of the graph remained, notice how the distance is decreasing, which means the person is walking toward a location of reference. So we could circle the top part or the bottom part of this graph. But as a sentence, this graph is impossible because it is impossible to be in two locations at the same time, or we could say it's impossible to be two distances away from a location of reference at the same time. But let's just say the graph is impossible because one person cannot be in two locations at the same time. Let's look at some more graphs. Notice on this graph, from zero to six seconds, the distance is increasing at a constant rate. The person is walking away from a location of reference, but then from six seconds to 12 seconds, notice how the distance remains constant at 40 feet, which means the person is not walking away or toward the location of reference. This graph is possible. So the next graph, from zero to four seconds, the distance remains constant at zero feet, which means the person is not walking away or toward the location of reference, but then from four seconds to 12 seconds, the distance increases at a constant rate, and therefore the person is walking away from the location of reference. After 12 seconds, the person is 30 feet away from the location of reference. Let's look at two more examples. Here, from zero to three seconds, the distance is increasing at a constant rate. The person is walking away from the location of reference, but then from three to five seconds, the distance decreases at a constant rate, which means the person is walking back toward the location of reference, and then from five to 12 seconds, the person once again is walking away from the location of reference. After 12 seconds, the person is 55 feet away from the location of reference. This graph is possible. And now for the last graph, from zero to four seconds, the distance increases at a constant rate, but then notice at four seconds, we have this vertical segment where the distances take on all the values from 15 feet to 30 feet, which is not possible. Again, it's not possible for someone to be in the multiple locations at the same time, or we can say it's not possible to be multiple distances away from a location of reference at the same time. So this piece of the graph makes the graph impossible. This piece of the graph is okay. From four to 12 seconds, the distance is increasing at a constant rate. Again, the person is walking away from the location of reference. 
Again, we can describe why this is impossible a couple of ways. We can say the graph is impossible because a person cannot be in multiple locations at the same time, or we can say because one person cannot be multiple distances away from a location of reference at the same time. Let's just say the graph is impossible because one person cannot be in multiple locations at the same time. I hope you found this helpful.